Hello, hello, Edson Oliver here. This is the Dean and Tip of the Week, and today I'll be talking about Google Page Speed. Actually, I'll be running a few tips about Google Page Speed and the many different warnings that you get. Some you may have control over, some you may not have control over, some are due to the fact that you might be using third-party scripts, marketing automation tools that don't really depend on anything that you could be doing, but some of those problems can be addressed by a few minor tricks. And one of those is called leverage browser caching. Actually, I run a few of our websites through Google Speed, Page Speed, and I got a warning about that. And I went after to see how I could address that. And it's very simple. Very quickly, I was able to get a few extra points on my scores throughout my sites just by setting up correctly leverage browser caching and that's what i want to share with you today in this video but before i talk to you about the dean and tip of the week i would like to talk about a new support plan that we have just launched on deskpaul at deskpaul we help you with your dean website we help you to maintain to fix bugs to add content we help you to upgrade we help you to do a bunch of things on your dnn website deskpaul one is a plan, a new plan geared towards the person who needs help with DNN. Whether you have one DNN site, two DNN sites, 10 DNN sites, a thousand DNN sites, it doesn't matter. Because now we are supporting you, the individual, the person, not the site. Of course, we'll help you to fix your site, but we are helping you. If you want more information about what the plan covers, what it doesn't cover, all the details, you can go to deskpaul.one. If you want to reach out to me personally, so you can book a time, you can book an appointment, and you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything, maybe about Deskpaul, maybe about Deskpaul One. just send me an email to the address below and we can talk. That's it. Enjoy the tip of the week. So first of all, this is a DNN9 website. It's a live site, it's a test domain, and it is not leveraging browser caching right now. How do I know that? Because if I copy the URL, if I go to page speed insights, I paste the URL there and I analyze. If we have a look at the results and we scroll down, you're gonna see that optimization suggestions it says leverage browser caching so it's not being leveraged right now so if you are getting this error and when you click on show how to fix if the files that are causing the problem with expiration not specified if they are coming from your site then you have control to fix that one note is that if you are using scripts from outside websites like Google itself, even Facebook or other marketing tools, you may not have control over those results. But what you have control are the files being served by your site, by your server. So right now, just for a reference, these are the scores that we're getting. 6 to 1 on mobile and a desktop 82. Now let's see if we can fix this. Let's see if we can improve those numbers a little bit. Even if it's a little bit, it will be helpful. Because this is a live site, I have FileZilla here open in front of me, which will allow me to connect to the server via FTP. I have downloaded the web config already, which we're gonna be using, we're gonna be opening and making a small change there. And then here's the web config. First thing is that we're gonna try to find this keyword, static content. Most likely it won't be there because you are not leveraging it. So where do we have to add this new setting? Well, we have to do that under system.webserver. We have to do that inside there. So we're gonna have to search for system.webserver. Here is the opening tag and we can add the new line or the new lines right at the top. And these are the new lines. I'm just going to copy and paste them right here. So there's a new tag called static contents. Inside of it, there's a tag called client cache with a bunch of parameters here. And basically what this is doing is this is setting the expiration date of resources like images, CSS files, JavaScript files. It's setting the caching to be 
365 days or one year. So it's flagging to the browser that it only needs to check again for newer files within a year. So you will not only be improving your ranks with uh, Google PageSpeed, but also the performance of your site will be improved as well because now it will be much faster for the second or third page request because the files will be, the static files will be already cached in the local browser. So after we do this change, and I would highly suggest that backup the web config before you make this change, we're gonna upload the new web config file to the site so it gets replaced. And now I'm going to run a new test with the new settings now. Let's run this again, analyze. Now let's have a look. So before we had mobile at 6.1, now we have mobile at 6.3. Just a, a minor increment here. How about desktop? Desktop we had at 82 and now we are up to 89. So that's a, that's a great improvement. So any minor improvement that we are able to do from the page speed insights, it will be good for you on two folds. Performance will be improved and Google will see your site in better light. It will see that it has improved overall and hopefully that will bring better rankings for you. A few notes. First one is that if you are running a DNN9 website already, most likely the setting is already there, is already in place, so you don't have to worry about that. It's always good to double check. However, if you're running older versions of DNN or versions that you have been upgrading over time, you will, you should definitely check if the static content is already there. I've checked on my sites, they were not there. So just by doing so, very minor change, I got a few extra points uh, with the page speed insights of Google. So this is it. This is how you can leverage browser caching if you get this warning from your page speed insight analysis of your DNN website. This is it for now. Thank you very much and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.